The Fair Food Standard Council, based in Sarasota, advances the human rights of farm workers. The latest annual report is out this week, charting the progress. And earlier, I sat down with the executive director to talk about that. Judge Laura Safer Espinosa, welcome to Studio B here at SNN. And you are the executive director of the Fair Food Standards Council. For folks in Sarasota who may not know what that is, uh, give us a sense of uh, the mission. Well, thank you, and thank you for having me. The Fair Food Standards Council is the organization that monitors and enforces the agreements that the Coalition of Immokalee Workers has with participating buyers and growers in the Florida tomato industry and now in peppers and strawberries as well. All kinds of vegetables, and this extends uh, well past Florida. That is correct. It extends now to six additional states, and I think many of your viewers are familiar with the Coalition of Mockley Workers' work in improving the lives and working conditions of farm workers. We ensure that the standards that they have negotiated with participating buyers and growers are actually enforced on the farms where the workers are working. Yeah, very important work. And the Fair Food Program 2015 annual report just came out. I know tomorrow night there's going to be a big event regarding this, but uh, what are some highlights uh, in this report? Uh, are you optimistic? We're very optimistic. We are almost uh, five full seasons into enforcement of this program and we have seen tremendous progress. It is, first of all, it is a win-win-win situation for buyers who want to assure themselves of transparency in their supply chains to ensure that they are human rights abuse-free. We see growers becoming employers of choice as working conditions and wages improve on participating farms. And most importantly, from our perspective, some of the worst abuses forced labor, sexual assault, wage theft on a massive scale are being detected, eliminated, and now prevented in the fields. So this raises the standard across the industry. And that, that's great news, and it's so important to have that relationship between the buyers and the growers and the workers in the fields. Absolutely. It is this partnership, it is workers' participation and the market consequences enforced by participating buyers and behind them the consumers like your audience that help to make the gains of this program real. Judge Laura Safer Espinosa, thanks so much for joining us. An event to celebrate the Fair Food Program 2015 annual report is scheduled between 5 and 7 p.m. Thursday at the office that's located at 330 South Pineapple Avenue right in downtown Sarasota and the public is invited.